Can cats drink cow's milk? Is it safe for them or is it harmful? These are some of the first questions that come to mind when adopting a cat, no matter how old it is. After all, how many times have we seen cats or kittens on the big screen lapping up a bowl of milk? Well, in this new Animal Vised video, we give you all the answers. During the lactation period, kittens produce a large amount of an enzyme called lactase, which is responsible for digesting the lactose in milk. As the kittens are weaned and their milk intake reduces, the digestive tract of the kitten begins to produce less lactase. In some cases, this develops into lactose intolerance. The same process can also happen in humans, which is why such a high percentage of people are lactose intolerant. However, not all cats are affected so dramatically by the decrease in the production of the lactase enzyme. Some of them have the ability to digest milk even in adulthood. Especially cats that, after weaning, continue to drink cow's milk, tend to continue producing lactase to digest it. Likewise, cats can digest moderate amounts of dairy products, such as cheese and yogurt, which have smaller quantities of lactose. But before we explain any further, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel where you will find useful weekly content for looking after your cats and understanding them better. If by kittens you mean newborns, then yes, the ideal food for kittens is breast milk or, in its absence, artificial formula sold in pet stores or at a veterinary center. If you are taking care of an orphaned kitten, you should definitely avoid cow's milk. Its composition is different from that of cat's milk and the kitten could suffer nutritional deficiencies or gastrointestinal disorders. Now, if your cat is still a kitten but has already been weaned, you can offer small quantities of milk to see if their body digests it properly. However, milk should never be the sole basis of their diet. As we have mentioned, most cats tend to progressively reduce lactase production after weaning. This means that due to the enzyme deficiency or the complete disappearance of the enzyme, many cats can develop lactose intolerance. When the enzyme cannot fulfill its function, lactose passes into the cat's large intestine without being digested. Here, it is fermented by gut bacteria, causing a range of digestive problems. The symptoms of lactose intolerance in cats are the following. On the other hand, a cat may have lactose allergy, which is a completely different illness. While intolerance affects the digestive system, an allergy affects the immune system, causing hypersensitivity and a severe allergic reaction. The allergen here is lactose and your cat would show the following symptoms. If your cat shows any of these symptoms, take it to the vet immediately. Finally, we want to point out that although not all cats will develop an allergy or intolerance, it is best not to add milk to a cat's diet. If you still want to feed your cat milk, choose lactose-free milk or plain sugar-free yogurt, which, due to fermentation, barely contains any lactose. In fact, yogurt in particular is a beneficial food for cats because of its high probiotic content. Another food recommended for the same reason is kefir, which carries an even higher percentage of probiotics and helps regulate the cat's intestinal flora as well as the digestive system overall. Of course, we repeat, never give your cat too much of these foods since the nutritional requirements of a cat are primarily based on animal proteins and fats. Now you know why adult cats should not drink milk, health problems that may occur and other facts related to a cat's diet. Have you ever fed your cat milk? How did it react? Leave us your comments and don't forget to give us a like if you found this video interesting. See you next time!